What's up guys, Dave here. This is an Xbox Ambassadors video and today I'm going to show you how to open your NAT by forwarding your ports. The first thing you want to do is go and locate your router and if you pick it up there should be a sticker on the back or the bottom and this will give you a URL and a username and password that you need to enter to access the details and settings within your router. Once you've got these settings, pop open your browser, go to the address bar and put in the IP address that you've just found and log on. You should have a screen like this one that you've just seen. It might be slightly different depending on who your, your ISP is or who your, your router provider is. Once you get to your home page, you want to locate the advanced settings. Make sure you click this. You might have to go through a couple of screens to get here. Different operators have different methods. Some of them just put you into a more user-friendly screen. So you might have to take a little bit of time to locate your advanced settings, but make sure you find them. Now there's three things we need to do to get the most out of our connection for our Xbox. The first one is we've got to create a static IP for our Xbox. So make sure your Xbox is currently turned on. You do this by finding the setting that is DHCP. Once you're within this window, it should list everything that's currently connected to your router, either wirelessly or wired. Now, it should automatically allow you to click on any of the options and give it a static IP address. But if it's like Virgin, you've got to actually put the details in yourself. So if you see here, we've got a rule that we need to set up. It requires a MAC address and the IP address. So all we need to do is simply go to what we need. Now, handily, it actually says Xbox One. So from there, we take the MAC address and the IP address and we just enter those and click add rule and that now creates a static IP for our Xbox. From there we want to go back to the advanced settings and we need to find an option that says UPnP. So there should only be two options within the screen, enable and disable. Make sure enable is selected, if not select it and click apply changes. So on to the final section now. We just want to go back to advanced settings and from here we want to go to security once we're within security, there should be some options. We need to make sure we click port forwarding. Now your screen might look slightly different to the one I've got here. It wants me to actually create a rule first rather than send me straight to the rule page. So we just make sure we click create a new rule. Now, so these rules are the ports that we need to open. Now to do this, we need to get the list of ports to begin with. The rule accessible via the Xbox website. The URL will be on screen now, including all the ports that we need to forward. So now the final part guys, will be hit with our port forwarding screens. And now what it asks is here, like the first option, it wants to know the IP. So make sure you know what the IP is for your, your Xbox. You should have found that out before when you give it the static IP. The only thing you need to do, the little square box, the little number at the end, that's the number you need. And now the rest is actually inputting our ports. We need to do these all individually. Now it gives us four boxes where we've got to put a number in, which could be slightly confusing, but it's the same number we need to put in each time. So our first port that we need to open is 88, and it's a UDP port. So we simply put 88 in all four options. And then the protocol is what one we actually want to do. Is it UDP? Is it TCP? Or handily, like my router allows, it allows you to select both rather than selecting them um, independently. And then once you've done that, just make sure it's enabled as well, and then click Add Rule. Once you've finished doing that rule, you've then just got to go through the list and add all the other ones. And then that's your, all you've done. Your port should be fully open. Your NAT, more importantly, will no longer be strict or moderate. It should be open. And you're in for some good gaming online. If you like the video, guys, make sure you hit the like button. Take it easy. I'll see you during the next video.